So as you can tell, we're in the animal kingdom this morning, which is a weekend, so it's going to be fuller. Also, I am noticing the difference between attendance levels between the first two weeks of September and the first two weeks of October. It is noticeable. So the tracking websites that look after these things, the uh, first two weeks in September was like a level two. I think now when I looked, it was a level three or four, but you can tell the difference plus the cost. It's a Saturday, so we're going to try and mop up some of the things we didn't do yesterday. We are starting to resign ourselves to a certain level of uh, 20 minute to 50 minute sort of queuing levels, uh, which isn't bad, but it was just uh, yours hope for walk ons, right? So, first one, dying stop. And we did check flights of passage at about 20 past 8 this morning because this park was also early access. Already three hours! That's right. <laughs> We're just ruling out all the things Jack can't eat. It's incredibly a lot, but they're piping out bacon smells in here, which is. Ooh, quite nice but we have we have spotted two magic busting we've had two magic busting incidents haven't we so the one was in when we were walking around um, oh, Halloween Horror Nights we spotted the uh, Hogwarts Express from the outside oh, it wasn't the greatest thing we had to try to pretend we hadn't seen it it's basically like some more, sort of monorail there which makes it way around on a pretty much a when a not too exciting track between the parks so yeah if you go behind the scenes in Halloween Horror Nights to queue up for some of the houses you may catch the Hogwarts Express in its unmagical mode which wasn't great the uh, second ones as you come in on the bus you do get to see the back of Pandora which is unlike Disney to do that so you get the, the massive building of one of the rides I'm not really sure which one it is and all the struts and construction that holds up the uh, floating mountain which Normally they wouldn't expose that sort of stuff, so I can only assume they're going to build trees there or grow trees there eventually, but at the moment on the bus in, it's quite exposed, which isn't great. Oh, we've been on Dinosaur, pretty good. Must admit, some of the... We went on it for the first time, I think, when we very first came to Disney World. I think, I think Ani um, Animal Kingdom is open now. It was a long time ago. It was pretty magical back then. I think it, it loses a bit of its magic now. It obviously is quite old, but memory of memories of it are pretty strong. I thought it was pretty amazing back when it was countdown to distinction, of course. <laughs> Gonna make our way to Tuft to be a folk. Quite easily argue the best thing about this uh, attraction is the queuing system. Oh, Jane, best to walk through it rather than be stuck in. heading to the Majoraja jungle trek. If my voice sounds weird, it does to me. I don't know if it does to anyone else, but I'm having sore throat problems. But it's not, not painful at the minute, but my voice does sound completely different. <laughs> uh, tough to be a bug was great as usual. The best bits are definitely the spiders and the interactive seats. Never fails to get a reaction. Uh, just part of the experience. Roderick, yep, Maharaja do you want to go jungle with trek. Mr. Matt and get wet? coming in.
sadly the tigers decided the humidity was enough for the day and they hide him somewhere which is fair enough I guess they don't prod them to the front of the glass which then would not be the greatest of things so they're hiding out avoiding the humidity this is our last chance to see them in case one's hiding in a corner somewhere so let's see if we get the spot one <laughs> Yeah, got to see the tiger at the last window. They have so many different viewing angles. I actually, I think it's very hard for them to find a resting spot where you you don't catch them at least once. But he was zonked out in the heat, but looking pretty majestic. So just being down to an excellent tree of life viewing spot. It may actually be a a boat stop as well for all I know but as a viewing spot for the tree of life it's absolutely amazing didn't even know that was there we've got a picture got some footage but it looks great absolutely amazing usually it's odds on that well last year it was uh, Maharaj trek that was better due to the way the tiger was roaming around but this time the gorillas were just roaming around picking up parts of the forestry it was absolutely amazing though we did get the authentic rainforest experience because it is very sweaty today and the jungle trail the gorilla trail does not help are we going to brave Pandora we're trying to get into Pandora, see how jam-packed it is for another look. Um, but the, the main fast pass for it is on Monday. We're going to have another expedition trail, see, see how packed it is. <laughs> Christ, that's the queue. It goes all the way back to Harambe and around. My God, that is crazy. It's like some sort of uh, evacuee, uh, evacuation area. There's people eating in the line, sitting in the line, just about passing out in the line. Absolutely crazy.
not too bad, we can make our way around as long as you don't want to go on a ride. We're going to try the, uh, when I find Jack, we're going to try the gift shop, see if there's a queue for that. But my theory for Pandora is this. To what degree is it a full land? It's partially a full land. And to what degree is it actually just a massive ride facade, a very good one, for two attractions? I say it's 50-50. Yeah, at least there's no queue for the, the merchandise shop. A possible purchase. Absolutely fascinating, the queue, the queuing system, they have to occasionally stop the general traffic so they can make a crosswalk for the queue, because it's obviously just totally broken out of any sense of uh, queuing infrastructure. We're trying to keep everyone awake. So I asked the guy at the end of the queue, it's the other, like a lollipop guy at the end of the queue to make sure people know where the queue is. Four and a half hours. Wow. That was like a, a major part of your day. It's absolutely crazy. So we've eaten at a Jack compatible restaurant, Pizza Safari. Now we're gonna push our way back into Pandora again to eat at a Ian compatible restaurant, uh, which is the one in Pandora I'm not even gonna try and pronounce. <laughs> It's worth mentioning because it probably doesn't come across on the, the vlogs, but the sound design in this place is absolutely amazing. There is uh, creatures of various types chirping away. Uh, obviously you don't see them, but the sound design on them is amazing. So we were speaking to the, the server in the counter service, and they said that the sounds change across the day and during the night to represent the different animals that are out. So that is, that is really clever. The only trouble is the place tends to be so packed that one of the problems with this new level of immersion which you can encounter at Harry Potter and at Pandora is it almost demands less crowds to experience it fully so there is a whole catch-22 there but yeah the sound design is absolutely brilliant so we are exiting Animal Kingdom and transferring over to Hollywood Studios which I don't think we can do direct so unless they've got some magic bus that does it direct these days we'll be going by Animal Kingdom Lodge it's just around the corner Hey, it's a warm one. So we're back on track. We have found the park transfer buses. I knew they did these at one point when back when everyone insisted Animal Kingdom was only half a day. I, I must admit I assumed they'd stop them, but obviously not, so this is great, but currently a popular option. <laughs> <laughs> 